Welcome guys. So in this video, uh, we are trying to extend our original shows algorithm for the like breaking breaking RSA. So basically, it's the factoring a large integer into uh, solving the discrete log problem. Uh, so as I previously said, that's uh, quickly a uh, review. So uh, the discrete log is basically somebody give you a g and an x, and you need to you hope you can solve alpha. So basically. And in some uh, sigly group. So basically, I give you G and X in some sigly group, uh, capital G. And the uh, idea is that to find alpha. So one can just write alpha as log GX. Okay, so finding alpha is a difficult thing, right? Because naively, the only thing you can do is you keep keep using the keep multiple G okay? and uh, guess that which is the answer. But uh, this is usually difficult uh, in a large prime number. Okay, so let's. Uh, see how to do this okay so the shorts algorithm the generalized shorts algorithm to this uh hidden subgroup problem uh basically discrete log problem is that our capital g let's say our capital g has a number n okay for for example uh, if g is zp cross uh, zp multiplicated group then g will be p minus one because zero uh, because zero is not uh do not have inverse right so and uh, we are no, we know g and x, but we don't know alpha. Okay, so let's consider uh, f alpha beta be a function that x to alpha, g to a beta. So you can write as g alpha log uh, x plus beta. Oh, by the way, I omit this g. Okay, so uh, so this alpha is from uh, z n z n to g. Okay, so z n means uh, a single group of order n. Okay, so let define this l gamma. So L gamma is a subset of uh, Zn, Zn cross Zn. So it's alpha beta cross Zn squared alpha log x plus beta equals gamma. Okay, so the theorem say that uh, there's a theorem, obviously. You see, if L, L gamma, uh, L ga uh, any points lies in L gamma will give the same f, right? Because this is gamma. So f heights h0. So basically, let's say h0 is, uh, is gamma to be 0, right? So now H0 contains the set of things like 0, 0, 1 minus log GX, because if you let alpha equals to 1, I got this, 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 this. Okay. And the idea is that the 0 delta, zero delta plus H will be this one. So delta is Zn. So we'll, F will hide this L, L0, right? So any call set, the same call set uh, will give you, so I, I should say any element in a call set, uh, in the same call sets, we'll have the same f, okay? So the proof is just very easy. Okay, so now idea is that uh, we try to the standard quantum, uh, maybe all the quantum computing, start from uh, all the states, all the possible states, and you apply this uf. So it's like a oracle. And then this, or, uh, this oracle will give you f alpha beta. So it's like a, you get alpha beta and f alpha beta, and then you measure the re register state. Uh, you measure the third state, then, then you get the. So if you measure third state, then you will pick out everything the same as the when third state is. The same. So get you get the alpha minus alpha log g x plus delta, where there is a square root of n because for each one you have a a of length or so square root of n. Right. So the idea is that you need to use the quantum further transformation to get something results, and amazingly, uh, one can just do this. So compared to let's compare to the period finding short algorithm, right? You starting from everything clearly. Uh, you starting from every, uh, all the states, and then you get some f of x, and then you measure, then you get this. Uh, you get some uh, r, which you do, do not care, but uh, their difference is s. Then uh, you try to use get the you try to use quantum for a transform and uh, get the beautiful s, and uh, get the information s, and then uh, you get it. So the, the same thing uh, happen as here. The difference is that now we have uh, two uh, states. Okay, so we apply this omega n is exponential to power i divided by n. So this is the quantum Fourier transform, and we apply on it. So it becomes alpha mu. Uh, so basically, there is a factor mu here, a factor nu here, and a uh, mu nu. Oh, then yeah, you get this. And uh, amazingly, if you only sum alpha, then you will get the uh, uh, direct delta symbol. So finally, uh, you can check my computation. Finally, you will get this, OK? So then uh, you just measure uh, in a computational basis uh, sim uh, for these two. Then you can get the 
uh, you will get some number, right? So then you get you get you will get two integer. So once you get these two integer, let's call it S1 and S2. So I assume that S1 is non-zero, right? If S1 is 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 zero, then you just go back to all the process the same. Uh, you all go go back to original process, and then you now you see S1 is new log gx, right? And then S2 is new. So uh, we just use S1 divided. Uh, I, I should say I should say that S2 is non-zero. So S1 divided by S2 will give you this. Then you just do the S1 divided by S2 uh, in the map p. In a in a your ma ma uh in your sigli group, then you get this this uh, discrete log. So the probability of success is basically one over log log n. So it's very uh, decreases very slowly. So that means uh there is a higher probability that uh, if you run few times of this short algorithm process, then uh, you can get the answer. Uh, you can get it. So this is the main process, main process, step by step process of how to generate original source algorithm to the order finding or peer finding, and uh, to this uh, general hidden subgroup problem. Basically, is the discrete law. Okay, and uh, this is somehow like the the probably the only three or, or two or three uh, useful uh, quantum algorithm based on quantum Fourier transformation because because somehow like uh, in a short algorithm we use like the integer right so we use integer as a group and then we try to fi find the the multiplicative subgroup and the, in this short algorithm we use in this discrete law we use zn cross zn and the sub sub uh, subgroup also and a co and a subgroup it's basically this H. So it's like a linear combination of just some linear combination of in uh some integer linear combination of alpha and beta, right? So it's it's very uh, it's obviously that sh this sh this grid log is somehow like the uh, the simplest generalization of find of the Schwarz algorithm. Okay, I think that's this is all computational idea. So Use quantum computing, one can uh, solving this discrete log problem in the poly polynomial time. And uh, all the non trivial calculation is uh, this quantum Fourier transform by order n, and uh, you need to do it for the both uh, basis. Okay, that's it. And the uh, next time uh, we may talk about some little new interesting things. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.